Okay, another week is starting, and I'll keep making videos, I guess. I took a break yesterday because the day felt very, um, I don't know, very 3D. I was like, I'm out of mana today, no spiritual juice in the tank, and that's fine. So I was working on my space, we're back to this like head-on shot. I've got a whole couch in here so I can get very comfortable. Um, I figured out a way to get the heater to work again. It's like on its side but it's working and it's safe. Under close supervision it can work. So um, yeah let's see what messages we have for today. It is Monday the 17th MLK day. Finally, it's a proper holiday, you know, that means something. So there's that. Um, <laughs> it's my ad adopted grandmother's 81st birthday. Look at that, the maze jumped out, number nine. So, um, yeah, wow. So, I was going to say, I'm, I'm going to go spend some time with grandma today. The maze jumped out, it's a number nine card, so... I'll say this reading is starting, okay? And it might be for somebody who feels like they haven't totally gotten to where they want to be yet. Um, they're still stuck in the maze. And you might be feeling a little bit anxious about this and or feeling like, why hasn't this happened yet? What am I doing here? Uh, more diligence is required, perseverance. Um, also, I forgot to touch my tectites this morning. These little stones, if you watched previous readings, you'll know all about them. But uh, they improve synchronicity. And synchronicity is the universe's language. Just saying, you're on the right path and you're tapped in. You kind of know what's going on here. What else have we got? Okay. Other worlds, yep. There's the portal. Oh, can you see it on this setup? Yep. Oh, you can see it well enough, I'd say. Other worlds. It's a dream portal into a new dimension, into a new place, an, an entirely new way of being. Um, it's coming. There's like an Escher landscape like on the other side of it and in the tunnel there's all these like planets and like little meteors going towards it so this is the turbulence if you've been following the videos and you know all my metaphors now by now except for the new ones that haven't been made yet this is the stuff that's getting shed through this portal to rid yourself of anything that doesn't serve you and and you can now sort of streamline yourself into the other side here that's what's coming it is a five card. Yesterday was a five day. Fives are, I've gotten more and more into numerology, I'll admit. It's just interesting how you can glean qualities from numbers. Everything is just a numbers game. Everything is assembled with numbers. Let's see. One more. Please can I have one more card? gift in reverse. Hmm. So you're not making total use of the gift? Do you guys remember what the gift is? I'll read it because it's a pretty complicated but very um, thorough explanation of what the gift is. A gift is being presented to you. Take careful note. What is it made of? How was it given? How is it used? How, what can it affect? Does it have a personal meaning like Arthur's sword Excalibur, Excalibur of Perseus's mirrored shield? Gifts are powerful totems granted to us by the gods to focus energy and power. However, to use your gift, you must first accept it and then understand how to use it. And of course, one day you must return it. 
it showed up in the reverse, so I'll read the reversal. The gift is postponed until correct action is made, or we may not be ready for the gift. Patience or work is required. So I wonder what this gift is, first of all, but the gift is being postponed, so... Interesting. Let's see what the tarot says. This is about... This feels like it's it's sort of about like this final push into this other side of this portal. We've got just a, I don't know, 17, so like two weeks left actually. We're about halfway through the month, my goodness. I feel like there's some sort of like innate stability or sort of harmony available to you that you're just not seeing or utilizing like to its fullest potential so what is that and maybe the tarot can help clarify what's going on today what only positive messages please only positive messages for the highest good of the collective let's do that positive messages only please Ten of Wands underneath, letting go of that which no longer serves you, whatever is a burden, feels like you've been doing too much. That's what this is in regards to. It's perfect message for the full moon tonight. Releasing anything that is no longer in your best interest. That's full moon cancer. So, interesting. I like how the gift looks like this massive, looks like a massive teardrop. It's like a massive... You know, if there's heightened emotions today, or things are triggering you more than usual, that is your sign of where you are leaking your energy or giving your ener you're giving your power away to possibly what might be a trivial thing, even if it is really important to you. In the grand scheme of things, um, might we might be assigning it too much meaning in our lives. I'm not saying it's not actually imp important, just saying how, um, what am I trying to say? You are important outside of the context of your relationships. Relationships are important, but you are also important. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Let's keep going. King of Swords in reverse. The Six of Swords in reverse, Three of Swords in reverse, my goodness. Page of Pentacles in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse, Temperance. Four of Cups in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, Ten of Swords in, Ten of Swords, upright. Now I'm remembering why I stopped reading reversals, because when there's so many of them, I just get a little overwhelmed. But let's see what we can do with this. Let's see what we can do with this. First of all, we start with the Ten of Wands and end on the Ten of Swords. So there's two tens here. This is about releasing some sort of, the end of a cycle and or releasing some sort of pattern. And I'll say that if something has felt like a struggle, remember I said earlier, assigning meaning? How do we assign meaning to things if not by thinking that something is what it isn't and vice versa or something is more important than than it is or we're interpreting something not the way that it is or whatever that is a cognitive function it is a cognitive function and so the ten of swords here is 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 a destructive cognitive cycle or a destructive cycle or or something of that nature 
that's also confirmed by the King of Swords, the three swords we have at the very top and the Ace of Swords at the bottom. And this is why the gift is being postponed, because you're not thinking about something in the right way. You, you think that you are seeking community, you're seeking friendship, you're seeking a partner, you're seeking your, what you want is to get over something that has been painful in the past, but <clears throat> Page of Pentacles is also in reverse, he's sort of like giving, it's, this is a small offer. I don't know if this is the gift from the, the the triple spread from above the triptych, but like, it might be. It might be that you're ignoring some small offers, or you're not. This is also about like not taking any practical action. So there's something that's right in front of you that you're not really utilizing, and it might be small, but it it's specific. It's very specific. Hmm. And so what I'm seeing is sort of like a, a resistance toward moving on from something. Um, and the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords are both in reverse here. Uh, this this reading just reminds me of like when we're not our <laughs> sometimes we need to check the way that we think by expressing trying to express our ideas to other people or something like am I thinking about this correctly what am I missing here what are my own biases this is this reading is fraught with biases and I asked for only positive messages well, so what's going on I'm just kidding um Um, patience, which was iterated by gift, is reiterated by temperance, the Sag energy of, te uh, I take this very much as sort of like experimenting, there's like two cups flowing in and out of each other, and, interesting, there's a triangle on his, and temperance is an angel. An extremely powerful card among basically crap <laughs> among basically you know much lesser significant energies so this is about giving things time also being more open maybe it's about opening your perspective here because something wants to come in again the four of cups and there's like this sort of apathetic sort of energy just like I don't care jaded um, there's something that really intensely needs to be released and this is the full moon y'all so the full moon is, is where it's at this is what it's for releasing things that no longer serve you and then you gotta, you gotta make room for the gift to come in that's what's going on the universe wants to bring you a little gifty I'm so far away from, from my computer, I can't even tell what time we got. Alright. The energy of this is almost like, instead of somebody working with what they have, even in some sort of minimal means, bare minimum, they're sort of just ignoring it, waiting for something to come around or and or are just sort of like not really facing the facts. Let's do, some, let's do a few clarifications because I feel like this reading went a little bit, yeah we got 15 minutes on the clock, alright. Um, first of all, Show me the Ten of Wands.
King of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Six of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, interesting. Something that feels like a burden is something that you feel like leads to your own e either financial success or stability or is a source of power for you. Something that really makes you feel grounded, but at the same time it also stresses you out. <laughs> um, and I can't tell if this stress is coming from, is like, attached to this thing that may, is supposed to make you feel stable or what's what possibly feels stressful or you know feels like a challenge is that your whatever is bringing you stability doesn't seem to be impacting your life as a greater whole as in like it's not really recognizable or it's not leading to the next thing that you thought it would lead to like it's not um, falling into you don't f something is not falling into place here so maybe it's time to reevaluate whether or not this this thing whatever this king of pentacles is let's pull one more card okay yeah whatever you thought was attached to your growth um, if it's stressing you out like a lot, it's time to reevaluate why why you're pursuing this. Is this something you can overcome, or is this really just not in your best interest anymore? There, that's some for somebody. Show me the ten of wands. I mean, sorry, the ten of swords now at the end. King of Swords underneath, the Magician underneath, the Emperor, oh sorry, underneath, reversed, these are all reversed, the Fool reversed, whoa. This is some really intense energy. There's a lot of there's a lot going on here, but like the Queen of, Queen of Swords, I she's normally depicted as like somebody who has the a an excellent power of discernment, right? She knows how to like use logic um, in a way that helps everybody. That sort of like connects all the dots. In the reversal, that just leads me to believe that either there's some some there's the, there's a need for some boundaries here. The magician in reverse, someone is out of touch with their power. Um, and if this is referring to a negative cognitive cycle, it it's like it's oscillating between the emperor and the fool. The reversals of these, so from being sort of too open or naive or reckless to being almost tyrannical about a situation, like needing to control it. Do I control this or do I, am I, or, or do I just let things fly? <laughs> Is this something that needs to be very carefully, diligently planned to the point of suffocating, you know, like to the detail, or do I just fly by the seat of my pants and just see what happens? That's the oscillation here. That's what's causing this really negative pattern, thought pattern in terms of, I don't know what to do if you don't know what to do. So this maybe isn't, what I don't see here is, is um, any external influence because the Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, even the Page of Pentacles is in the reverse here. Ace of Swords is in the reverse. Someone is not considering how their actions or their decisions might be affecting other people. 
Show me the Three of Cups in the center. The world. The world in reverse, the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Page of Wands, and the Page of Cups in reverse. You're trying to, this is maybe something about trying to find closure for yourself before you move on from a situation, something that's been very disappointing. Um, but you might not be going about it in the best way possible here. Alright, show me temperance. Temperance, some, some, some advice here for how to deal, handle this situation. This resonates for you. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Hierophant. Eight of Wands in reverse, King of Cups in reverse. Wow. Yeah, this reminds me of one of those Moonology cards of like better out than in. Um, instead of, if there's, if there's a burden, if there's something that feels like a burden, I think you're assigning it so much meaning because this is something you've invested a lot of time into and it, ha it hasn't really turned out the way you expected, you know, which is fine, that happens, um, but there's got to be another track here. This, you're sort of having like this one tr the situation you're seeing is sort of has like one track when there's multiple tracks. Like there's always parallel tracks. So what I'm getting strongly is that in order to release yourself from this stagnation and from this sort of this negative pattern, we have the Hierophant and the King of Cups in reverse. The Hierophant is about tradition, but it's also like represents the throat chakra and speaking your truth. And the King of Cups, normally uh, a man who is, or somebody who is unshakable, someone who knows his emotions very well and cannot be shaken, is in control of his emotions, is telling me, let your emotions out. Like, don't guard your emotions so much. Let, let's tell somebody um, how you're feeling about a situation. Because once you get it outside of you, then things can start to flow. Maybe check yourself against another person's perspective. I'm not telling you to do what other people say, but this is the opposite problem where it's like you've been you've been on your own for so long, you've been operating in a silo. And so very rarely do good things come from from that sort of um, independence or isolation. Even if the intent is good and the intent is to, um, you know, do the work on your own as much as you can to, to move past some sort of painful situation. It's like a time comes when we do need others. We do need other people. So yeah, full moon cancer, man, it's like, um, Full moon cancer vibes with that sort of where it's like shoulder to cry on. Go get a shoulder to cry on. That's what I got. Happy Monday. <laughs> Don't cry. But if you cry, it's okay. You're you're making room for some for the universe to bring you a little gift for releasing or grieving whatever whatever the heck that is. Okay, thank you.